live at Luke Florence yeah. Studio Key Music Sessions uh, down here at Half and Half uh, with uh, with the lovely Liam Tamney from The Voice. So what was the most nerve-wracking bit? Uh, the most nerve-wracking was definitely the blind audition for me, singing and then there was one bit in the song that's like, Now starts the crowd, and that's when Will pressed. And for me, I was petrified, like my heart was literally like banging. <laughs> because then it becomes, it's not just about the voice when they turn, it's now you're a package and it's the product and see if they like you as a person. And you've got Will I Am, so they go, I Am. Yes. Or are they, no. no. <laughs> I'm going to turn back around. <laughs> Do you think your fan base has increased? Twitter, Facebook, oh uh, yeah, huge. My fan base is massive, like I'm in touch with so many people, even like celebrities, have tweeted me and following me, which wow. is crazy. Yeah, like, uh, can you name drop some? Kate Bush again. <laughs> Do you know who you Is this like uh, some of the anyways, Essex, uh, made in Chelsea people? You have, I have a lot of like uh, soap people uh, following me. Uh, models, the Diet Coke guy, um, he's following me. Like, oh. it's crazy, and the support has been like mad, and like music people as well, like. Um, like Tom from McFly and, and people like that, they're, they're following me as well. And it's just to, to know that I'm doing something right because these people are people that obviously are out there in, in the entertainment industry and are, are, are working. One, that's one thing that's come up quite a lot and my response to that be with, with regards to it possibly being stage would be, it's a TV show and it's an incredible TV show and if it truly was just about the voice it would be done on the radio but after they've done the whole thing of the chairs turning, it becomes like any other show. Right. How much time did you get to spend as a mentor? Did you get to spend with Will? Yeah, I mean, Will obviously was my coach. Um, so spending time with him, he's a very, very busy man. He was obviously writing his album and stuff and promoting the album. There. We didn't get to spend a lot of time with him in the sense of him coaching us for the battle round. Uh, but we did have a rehearsal with him, a studio rehearsal, then we'd had the, the on the day and stuff. So it was like what you saw on TV? Yeah, it was. It was we had that rehearsal and then like, a studio rehearsal and then on the day. Yeah, definitely. I'm still in contact with the coaches. Dante, he sent me so much advice. Jesse has sent uh, music industry people my way, SBT, the uh, shop videos for. And Danny said, let's get in the studio. Get in. That's yeah. working on the show just for that. Exactly, exactly. I wouldn't change it for the world.